how many screws? How many screws should you expect to get into timber using an impact driver and one five amp battery before it dies? Well, today we're gonna find out. Hey guys, Harrison here from Tool Talk TV. And today we're answering a very interesting question. How many screws can we put in to timber using an impact driver and just one battery? Today, as you can see, we have got three of potentially the top brands. Hey, you tell me your favorite brand of power tools in the comments. But today we've got a DeWalt impact driver. We've got a Milwaukee impact driver and we have got a Makita all 18 volt, five amp batteries on them, all fresh off the charge, so they're full of juice. And today, we're gonna to do a head to head. Now, before we get started, let me just tell you that today's video is sponsored by Optimax. Optimax is a rapidly growing manufacturer and global distributor of cutting edge screws, utilizing many years of expertise to elevate the screw game one toolbox at a time. As a fast starting, self-drilling, self-countersinking hardened steel wood screw with no splitting, no snapping, no pilot hole and pre-drilling needed, Optimax Extreme Performance wood screws are sure to be the keystone of your next project. For more information, check out the link in the description or find them on the shelves of your local independent or national merchants nationwide. So if you're looking for a top quality, high performance wood screw, look no further than Optimax. Today, we're gonna to be starting with the DeWalt. So I'm gonna clear the deck and we're just gonna get straight into this. Okay, so the first drill we are using is the DeWalt XR brushless 18 volt impact driver. Let's get into it. So that's 10 screws so far. Now you would assume, and we are still on full battery as you would expect. And we're what, like 10 minutes in? I keep catching the gear, clicking it in reverse. Not here to judge the ergonomics, just saying. Okay, that's 200 screws and we are still on full juice. Three hundred. And we're on two out of three bars now. Well, we already had a first casualty of batteries, but it wasn't the DeWalt. It was actually cam number two. Uh, so we've plugged it in. Now we're still good to carry on at two bars. Oh, it's just popped back up to three. Is it solar powered? Okay, here's to another hundred. Comment down below. How many screws do you think we will end up with in this timber? Now, in case anyone is wondering, we are using a DeWalt bit. We will, for consistency, use that on each of the impact drivers to keep it fair. So the bit is the same, but it's the drill that is different. It's box number five. Now it is starting to rain, so we might have to take a breather on this one while it passes, but we shall continue until we can't. <laughs> we're gonna take a breather on account of the rain. And we're back, the rain has passed, so let's get right back into this sit rep. Two bars still looking good on the DeWalt right now. Had a little bit of time to cool down just for that. Still warm though, still very warm. Box number six. Quick update, we just dipped down to our third or last bar, should I say, although it's just gone back up. It's like this thing is re-energizing when we wait. 
Uh, so we are in box number six, going for 600 screws. It's pretty good going. There we go, 600 screws into timber on a single charge so far with one bar to go. Do you use DeWalt? Comment down below. Are you a DeWalt? Are you team yellow or are you team red, team blue, team green? Comment down below with your preferred power tools. Or better yet, join Tool Talk for free and leave reviews on your favorite tools. I'd be interested to know if this just dies and cuts out or dwindles like a fading candle and strong breeze. Seven hundred screws just been put in by the DeWalt and we are still on one bar. Still going strong. Box number eight. 7.30, 7.40. Broke another bit. Eight hundred screws. Okay, we've got to be getting close now. Where do you think that this baby is gonna give up the ghost? I think we're gonna get really close to a thousand, but I don't know if we're gonna break it. That's the question. Can we break 1,000 screws with the Dewalt impact driver? Still making light work of these screws. Showing no signs of letting up. Very close to 900. Could we be dying? Could we be fading away? 900 screws from the DeWalt. Oh. There's not a bar anymore. We're in the final stages. Nearly a thousand screws, but the battery has no light on it. We are in overtime now, people. We are in overtime. We're about to get an answer for the DeWalt. Just how many screws can it put into wood before the battery dies? Let's go, count with me. Is this it? 903. <laughs> it's dead. It's officially dead. <laughs> 902.5 screws. <laughs> Nine hundred and three. Come on, Dewalt. Come on. This is it. Make it count. Every. That's it. It's gone. The Dewalt is gone. Well, how about it? Nine hundred and three screws for the Dewalt. A valiant, valiant effort from Team Yellow. Now, did you guess anywhere close to that? Did you think it'd go more? Did you think it would go less? Let me know in the comments down below. But next up, we've got Team Red. Let's go Milwaukee. Okay, it is time for Team Red and you'll see that I've now got my sunnies on because the sun is shining and I'm 100% going to get some sunburn and I will be looking as red as this t-shirt by the end of this video. But the show must go on so let's find out how many screws the Milwaukee impact driver, fresh off the charge, can get into another fresh piece of timber. We've had the pace set by the DeWalt. We had 900 
and three screws, valiant effort from Team Yellow. It's time to bring in Team Red. Let's go. The Milwaukee has some serious power behind it. I'm already, I'm, I'm noticing that instantly. I gotta say the Milwaukee feels a little bit more aggressive, more power maybe, um, but the DeWalt felt a little bit screechier, but a little bit more delicate, just saying. Like, because of the power of the Milwaukee and the pressure that I'm putting behind it so that I don't fall off of the screw, <laughs> some serious counter sinking going on. Again, what I have noticed is the ergonomics of these impact drivers, this reverse and drive gear, whatever you call it, forwards, backwards mode, this button, it's way too easy for me to click with my hand. My delicate keyboard fingers might be getting a blister. Well, we are 100 down and this thing is a beast, almost too much power for one man to handle. Oh, so interestingly, this has four bars to indicate the battery power and we are already down to three out of four bars. 75% of the battery left, but there's four bars. Maybe that first bar goes down a little quicker. Who knows, only time will tell. The DeWalt only had three bars to indicate battery level, so we shall see. But interesting, that has got a lot of power. Maybe it's really exerting it. Well, that is 200 screws so far. 200 Optimax screws have been put into Timber and we are still on three bars out of four on the Milwaukee. Let's keep on going. Oh, we're down to two bars. Two bars on the Milwaukee impact driver. And we're on our third box of screws. That's only 300 screws once I finish these. 300 screws so far for the Milwaukee. And we are on two out of four batteries. 50% of battery power gone already. That is very surprising. Although this is kicking out some power. If you're trying to be efficient, maybe lower power equals longer life. We will find out. But let's face it, we all like power, right? We want maximum power all the time. Because like Charlie Sheen, I've only got one gear, and that's go. And there we go, 400 screws so far in with the Milwaukee, and we are down. We are down to one bar. Let's see how we get on with another box of Optimax screws. Five hundred screws are in. Still one bar, looking strong. Box number six. Hard to say if the wood's creating more resistance right now or whether the battery is dying, but we shall see very soon. Oh, it's blinking now though. It is officially blinking at me. We could be in the tail end. 600 screws. We're into our seventh box for the seven hundred screw marker, but I don't think somehow that the blinking light is going to let us do another hundred. Ooh, she's feeling it. Oof. Feeling very tired now. Oh yeah. The last breaths. Yeah. 
I'm really having to push in now. 650 screws so far. Last minute bit change. 751. And that's it. <laughs> Won't even turn. 751. And a bit. 751 screws put in to the timber by Milwaukee. Bit of an upset, surprising. Some serious power in the Milwaukee fuel. I was expecting potentially this to go further, but maybe the power, you know, if you value speed over endurance, hey, and who doesn't? Hey, Milwaukee could be a good shout. At the moment though, DeWalt is in the lead with what was it, 900 and three screws versus 751 and a bit screws. It's time to clear this up, swap it out for round three, which is team blue. And that is of course, Makita. Okay, everybody, it is time to put the Makita through its paces. We've got a fresh bit, fully charged battery, another thousand Optimax screws. It's time to see what the Makita can do and whereabouts in this arms race of power tools, the Makita lies. Let's get into this. Okay, first 10 screws in. So far, so good, interestingly. Probably the quietest of the three impact drivers so far. Probably a little more noticeable in the, the I don't wanna say lack of power, but the, it's definitely, feels like less power compared to the Milwaukee because the Milwaukee was aggressive. So there we have our first 100 Optimax screws in the wood. No sign of battery dipping yet. It's four bars as you would expect or you would hope anyway. On to the second 100. Now we'll try and count a bit better this time. And that's 200 screws. 200, not 300. This is box number three to make it 300 if we finish it. I'm trying to tell myself, Harry, remember, do your maths properly. Box number three. What the f <laughs> That was as big as a bird. <laughs> now I'm a little jumpy. That was just a butterfly. I'm not as fussed with butterflies. It's not that I'm scared of them. They're just unpredictable. I don't want it in my face. Who wants a bug in the face? Okay, that's 300 screws into the wood. Sit rep on the battery. Three out of four bars. Box number four. Four hundred screws in with the Makita, and we are on three out of four bars. Still, pretty good going. Box numero five. Five hundred screws with the Makita. Two out of four bars left. This is going to be close between. DeWalt and Makita. Let's find out how far it goes. With box number six. Still two out of four bars. We are catching up to the Milwaukee very quickly. Now don't be fooled by this line going past there. The spacings haven't been perfect, so we are still about 30 behind, but we've got one bar. We have got one bar left on the Makita. This could be tighter than it looks. 
This has just gone straight through to seal second place right now, but how far will it go? Only one way to find out. Not really showing any signs of slowing down yet either. That's 700 screws just gone in with the Makita. It's warm, it's on one battery bar out of four. It's not blinking, it is still going. Let's move into box number eight and see how we get on. Got a feeling we could be close now. That's 800 screws in the wood so far and it's still going. I just don't know if this is gonna beat number one spot though. I think it's getting tired now, this is it. This could be it. This could be when we lose it. Did that just cut off? 806 we're at so far. 807, and it's cutting off, but still going. I think that's it. It's flashing. It's dead. 809 screws. 809. Wow, what a journey we have been on today. So there you go, this concludes a very scientific test of which impact driver can put the most screws in a piece of timber before the battery dies. Our winner, of course, is the mighty yellow team. DeWalt has come in first place, and we've got Team Blue, Makita, and then the surprising third, in my opinion, surprising third, is Team Red, Milwaukee. Were you surprised with what you saw today? Are you Team Yellow and extremely happy? Are you Team Red? and absolutely furious. Tell me in the comments why I'm wrong. Tell me what you wanna see next time. What do you want us to compare? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, as well as real reviews from real trades professionals that use these sort of tools on a daily basis, and I'm not just talking about putting thousands of screws into timber, I'm talking about real world use. Honest reviews by those guys on the tools they use every day subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them, as well as more great content coming very soon. Thanks guys, and I will see you again later. Cheers.